All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be moving out of my college dorm room. We have seven fish tanks in here. We had to rent a truck to fit everything. Sean's here. I uh, he came to my graduation. He's helping me move out. That's my cousin, Big George. Hi. What are you doing? What's wrong with it? Uh, First time driving a truck. Alright, so here's the plan. We're gonna take care of the tanks, you guys take care of the furniture, alright? Okay. All right. Let's go! Congratulations, Dormitory! Coral Fish 12G is moving out. What's your favorite tank out of all the tanks? Go. Uh, this one right here. Because this bad boy, apparently from what I heard today, is that it's got a bite like a 22 caliber Glock. You know, oh, know what my favorite one is? Yeah, tell me. This one, because it's going to be the smallest and easiest to pack up for you. Wow, so you sound like a commercial, dude. Show. This is the easiest to pack up. <laughs> Look at it. It's versatile. It fits ready. No. All right, so we are getting the room ready to get moved out of. So this is my cousin. You guys know Sean, my younger brother. And that's Austin. He's our camera guy now. He's, he's from Green Bay. He's Spanish. from the Bay. <laughs> Okay, so we're putting all of my like regular clothes and college stuff in these boxes, <laughs> and then we're we putting the water because we only have four buckets. Dude, it's hot. Okay, it's look, check this out. Oh, oh. world's so worst salt. We're in the bathroom. This is where I spent many, many years making my aquarium water. All right, there's three buckets and seven tanks. So, so what are you gonna do? With <laughs> I'll tell you this guys, you'll realize who your true friends are when it's time to move. So you can use this pump right here and you can pump water out of the tank. We're gonna put the crawfish in here because this is what she was shipped to me in. All right, Smurfette, we're taking you home. You're gonna love Chicago. You wanna siphon a corner like this and then like push the substrate out so that way you can get to as much water out as possible. So normally we would take all the water with us, but we had Turbo Start, the gingerbread twins from Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral. They're meeting me at my house tonight at midnight and they're bringing me new water for these systems. I'm gonna double bag them just in case he pierces through the bag. Right, Solitary so confinement. I swear if that ever met Thanos. Thanos. So, what are you fresh water? so the rest of this water we can dump, right? Dump, 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 dump it! Where did we find you, dude? Okay guys, with puffers, you can't just pull them out of the water to put them in a bag. What you have to do so they don't get air in their bodies is to catch them while they're underneath the water, submerge the bag down in the water, and push them through the bag. Sean's right. If you don't do this, it will really stress out the puffer to the point that it puffs up. I know that's what they're famous for, puffer fish, but it's really, really bad for them if they do that. And it usually causes them to die. So Sean did that absolutely the correct way. And, and we'll double bag these guys because these guys like to bite. The bacteria lives in the substrate, in the rocks, and in the filter media, in the filter. As long as we keep all those things just kind of damp and stuff, we should be good. The rest of that water we can dump. Dump it! It was like yesterday, I put this in. The bacteria really isn't just gonna float around in the water. It's gonna colonize down in the sand bed and in the filtration media. So when we add new water to this and turbo start, there'll be plenty of bacteria in the system. Okay, okay now. this is now... Off. So you just teach. Stop clowning hey. around. All right, so we got our salt water here. And we're gonna take this rock that has a bunch of the coral on it. And we're gonna keep all the bacteria living on this with a lot of the coral too. And we're gonna put it right in here. And then we're gonna throw the remaining pieces of coral in the bucket as well. We're also gonna take the sponges out of the filter. These have a ton of beneficial bacteria that we wanna save. So we're just gonna throw these into the bucket as well. And then finally, we have Marine Pure Block. Yanny, yanny. It's a really poor type of rock that holds a lot of beneficial bacteria. Anything to get out of here fast. All right, I gotta take home all of my equipment. This room has also been used as like essentially a studio and workplace for me for the last year. Laptop, hard drives, bay one and bay two. Chargers, gimbal, diploma. Can't forget that, that's why I came here. Austin, have you ever seen a Spartan? 
I modified this room in so many different ways to squeeze every inch of space out of it. You see these doors on the other side? I took the door off. The door is over here. So we gotta put that back. At the beginning of the year, I put all these screws in a little baggie. Thank God I remembered where I put this. Would have been screwed. I collect rocks. I put them in a bag. I put them in a box. Um. All right, time to bag up the ponies. They're the last to go. Put it on top of here, Yanni. All right, so we literally brought the truck up right to the edge of the door here. So this move is just like the $10 tank build. You're just gonna grab whatever you can find to make it work right. Luckily, we found a bunch of carpet that they were giving away from all the people moving out. We're gonna put it down on the bottom, put the tanks on top of it so it doesn't slide around. You can do it! You can do it, Sean! Like and subscribe, Crawfish Trilogy. Thanks. <laughs> Three to seven? So you're gonna put that tank in the truck. I'm gonna start cleaning. You gotta clean the room or else they charge you. All right, so the room is essentially empty. Yeah, this is it guys. I mean, it took a lot longer than we thought. It always does, but the only thing that remains is, dude, I'm trying to have a moment here. All right, the only thing that remains is the Coral Fish 12G sign. It's one of the hardest things to take down because it's so connected to so many things. This one. All right. Well, college, uh, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, oh. Snailed it. Let's go. Last time at Quick Trip. Woo! They don't have Quick Trip in Illinois. Oh! So let's go, baby. <laughs> Big egg roll Quick Trip guy. Huge egg roll Quick Trip guy. I literally got my life's work in this truck that's actually that's kind of sad if that's my life's work all right so we got a two and a half hour journey to chicago let's get it well we made it and we got uh, nick in the house he's gonna help us move everything in up. What's up guys? What time is it? It's 5.30. So uh, we just finished unloading the truck into the house. We were here in Golf, Illinois now, suburb just north of Chicago. And look who we got. Dotty. Nick Barrer, gingerbread twin number one. All right, so Nick is here because I requested for him to bring us some water from his store because we drained all the tanks. We thought it would be easier if we just had Nick bring us water from his shop. We got like 60 gallons of water. We got some DI, we got some brackish, and we got some salt water for you. Yeah. Dude, thank you. No problem. God bless this kid, man. This is, those are DI. Okay. Hey. Oh my God, my mom's gonna be kidding. Don't show my mom that. Just close them and don't look at it. <laughs> yeah, we're putting all the corals like back where they're supposed to be. All of the tanks have 
been set up. Crayfish right here. We got our planted tank, our coral tank, uh, the seahorses, the brackish, and the mantis shrimp. So we pulled an all-nighter to get this done. It took, my, what, 12 hours? Thanks to, obviously, my family, friends, Sean. Yeah, we were somehow able to pull it off. The last thing we need to do is put in turbo start. Did someone say turbo start? So Fritz Aquatics makes a saltwater and freshwater version of their Fritzheim denitrifying bacteria. I Which want, one do you want? I want the freshwater one. All right, freshwater scrub. <laughs> All right, to be honest, I'm really tired and not in the mood for this, but it's the last thing we need to do to put all these animals into their aquariums. You guys know what time it is. It's time for acclimation. Acclimation. All right, guys, we did it. The nightmare has officially ended after 13 and a half hours. I'd say it was really that half, that extra half an hour that turned me into a puddle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like this video. What is this, George? Hey, Dad. So, this is our new basement. Why are you on the floor? Uh, I don't know. I'm done. I'm just done with this day. So, remember to keep the nitrates low. George? Out.